Hey everyone, this is Darko. Today I'll give you a tour of Sharp's EQ series for the European market. This is 2022 model in 50 inch screen size running Android TV version 11. So I'll press home menu that you see the home page. The home page looks like this. It's familiar Android TV interface. Maybe in your region you will get this new Google TV interface, but Overall, it works in the same way. So we've got top row with apps, which you can customize in a way that you long press any icon and then you can move it or remove it from favorites. If I choose move, I go left and right and put it on position I want. If I want more apps, I go to Google Play Store to install them or I can add already installed apps with this big plus button. So for example, YouTube Kids, it's right here. And then in the same way, I can move it to whichever position I want. Below, you will see different lines from different services offering featured and recommended content. Now, if this is too much for you, if you want to remove some of them, you need to go all the way down to customize channels. And here you can disable many or you can you know select only which features from certain app you want to see and then when you're done you go back and there you have it now let me quickly open different apps that you see how they look like let's start with netflix so that you see the speed and interface so it works fine and in this case, you get Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos from this TV. Now I'll press home button to open HBO Max. So here you also see interface working fine quickly. And then if I want to go back to Netflix, I can go to home screen, but there is also a dedicated button on both remotes which you will get with this TV and you see I'm quickly back to that app. Now let's go directly to Prime Video using dedicated button and here you see also UHD 5.1 HDR content available. Okay, YouTube. Now in YouTube um, let me go back a bit. It needs to load. All right. Uh, now you can also use standard remote control and press this button with nine dots on it. And that will bring this side menu where you can open other app. So you see a list of apps and games here. And if you want to install more apps, you can access Google Play Store here or games you can install directly through this button. And if I press back, I'm back to where I was. Now, if I press home button on the remote, I go to this main menu. And if I press back, I'm only back to first position, to first app. I cannot go back to where I was. So actually this is quite handy. If you're inside an app, you just press this nine dot button and you can open whichever app you want. Okay, now let's see other menus which are available. So if we go to inputs, you see a list of different inputs which are available. And you can customize their names if you go to settings and settings is this icon in top right. Here you will see different options. If you go to device preferences, you will see inputs and here you can customize them and so on. So for example, HDMI one, you can change the name here. It's very easy. And now let's go back to other settings which are available, network and internet channel for live TV settings, your accounts and sign in options, apps. Here you see recently opened apps and permissions for apps. 
device preferences about here you can do factory reset you can see android tv version and other information date and time timer so power on time auto power on time power off time language so here you can change interface language keyboard settings Inputs we already saw, power options, sleep timer, picture off, switch off timer, no signal auto power off and auto sleep. Picture settings I covered in my other video in details. Sound options, so if you want to hear sounds of the interface, you enable them here. Enhanced audio return channel option is available. Digital output options and Dolby Audio Processing, also DTS, if DTS audio signal is detected. Storage, currently I have 4.3 gigabytes of internal shared storage available for installing of apps. Home screen, here you have different options. You can reorder apps the same way I showed you before. You can do the same for games and license information. Store mode, I haven't tried this option. Uh, this option may result in higher energy consumption. I haven't tested it. If you have, let me know in the comment section, what does it do? Google Assistant, you can enable or disable it here and see to which Google account it is linked. Chromecast is built in so you can stream content, you can send content from your device to the TV. Uh, screen saver, uh, you have options here. Is it colors or backdrop? Energy saver, turn off display, different options. Location, information, usage and diagnostics here. Accessibility, you see which options are available and restart. If you encounter issues with content, with video, with picture stuttering, or you have issues with connecting your devices, or system is not running stable, you can restart it with this option here. Alternative is always to unplug the TV from power and plug it back after a few moments. Now, if we go to game console input, just as an example, now if I press menu button on the remote, you will see TV options menu. These options are basically same as we saw before, but in this on-screen menu. And then if I click picture, you see Android TV interface. Now, once you're in a video on demand app like YouTube, if I press the same button, menu, you will only see device preferences, picture and sound. So you cannot, for example, turn off the screen and keep audio in this way. You need to use voice assistance, which is something I will explain in my separate video. I'll link it below. You can also open different apps and open settings and do other things with Google Assistant using your voice. So if I press Google Assistant button. Will I need umbrella for tomorrow in Zagreb? No, it won't be rainy tomorrow in Zagreb. It'll be sunny with a high of 91 and a low of 60. Show me Harry Potter movies. And you see results here from different apps. Open TV settings. And there are plenty of other voice commands you can use. And with this, I would like to end this demonstration. Thanks for watching. As you saw, the system is quick to open different apps, to switch between different apps and overall it was working stable during my test. Thanks for watching, let me know your experience with Android TV implementation on a Sharp TV and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye!